What's the number one thing that you got to realize as you become senior faculty at a university? And that is, it's not my problem. You have to get to the moment where you simply look at the world and you say the serenity prayer. And I can't quite remember how it goes, but it's basically, let me control the things that I can control and then let everything else just be with the grace of God. And you let that go where you simply just say, I can't change everything. I imagine a university system as an ecology of different things that are happening. And within this ecology of a university system, there's certain things that you can actually do and you can control. And the stuff that's within your control is actually very, very small because the university system is interrelated. There's lots of different things that are going on that are outside of your control. And you simply just have to look at what you can control and do just that. That's the only thing that you can do. I'm becoming to, I've become to get into, that doesn't make sense. I've become painfully aware that I just simply have to say, it's not my problem, it's not my battle. I need to focus on the things that I can control at a given time. And that goes for all sorts of things that happen in my life as I've become a little bit more senior within the university system. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. And I realize that this is a very important skill that I have to learn. So whether it is you know, outcomes that I have, whether it's the publications that I get. It's not my problem. It's, I'm, it's out of my control. The only thing I could do is just work on the things that are in my control. And there's only so much that I can do on a given day. And then the rest of it, not my problem. There is only so much I can sort of think about in terms of rewards or uh, praises and all that kind of stuff. And, and I just simply have to say, it's not my problem. I don't care. I need to take a step back. And that means to remove myself from Facebook and all of that kind of stuff, even though I'm painfully very open here and, and I'm, 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 I'm all over the place on social media. I restrict myself as much as I possibly can from that sort of navel gazing that goes on on social media. Every time I do that, every single time I start looking at, you know, um, whatever, you know, LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever. It is so me focused. It is so focused on promoting self-promotion and all that kind of stuff. And it always, always hurts me. And so I have to take a step back and say, it's not my problem. And I need to not go there. Um, I think about students and, you know, what I can actually do with students at my fingertips. And I can't do it. I can't I, I can only do what I can do. And then the rest of it, it's up to them to sort of step up and do the things that they need to do and take control of their own life. This goes with my own kids. I don't want to be there doing everything for them. In fact, right now they're doing, I hope they're doing homework on their, um, you know, doing some homework by themselves. And um, I think that is a good thing where I need to step back and say, it's not my problem. This is what it means to be a growing adult. Now, another thing that's important is you need to realize that anytime that you get kind of like spidey feelings of, this is not right, this is not good, that's all really, really um, important sensory information to let you know that there is some sort of thing that's going on that is probably not right and it's probably not that good um, and that there's more to the story. I've learned so much. Those little spidey senses that you have are very, very important to have that sort of sensory what's going on and um, you realize that that is you picking up. That's your intuition picking up on things that are not quite right. And so then it's your choice to determine whether you should pursue this thing and challenge this thing. And yes, if it's concerning my family and, and those kind of things, absolutely, I will push it. Um, but, you know, for other things, hey, you know what, it's not my problem. I'm not going to go there. And I know that this seems kind of 
difficult, but you do as much as you possibly can. And then you take a step back and you let things fall where they, where they may. Frankly, there is too much that goes on. The university system, it is too complicated to control everything. I realize that there is a lot of um, things going on in the macro level um, in, in, in some of the southern states that are uncomfortable and, and that don't make me feel like, oh, yay, go, go, let's, this is amazing. But um, I take a step back and I realize it's not my problem. I can't fight that battle. I can't do everything. I need to limit the things that I need to specialize in. I need to focus on the things that I need to specialize in. So for me, it's doing this. It's, it's being able to communicate you, building a reciprocity project, doing as much as that as I possibly can, doing my own work, doing my own research, and then focusing on the little, you know, component, compartmentalize of teaching that I can possibly do. And then thinking about, you know, the, the service in terms of reviewing and things like that, that will actually give me some sort of value added. And I know that seems really, um, self-centered and it really is the university system makes you very self-centered and that's the thing that you need to focus on is that it does make you self-centered and it makes you realize that well crap you know like if you do things for everybody um, and you continuously do those things for everybody you do get taken advantage of that's that's an absolute fact within the university system so you just have to limit as much as you can and boundary put boundaries on things as much as you possibly can and teaching for example put boundaries on teaching don't spend all your time like teaching on things like really compartmentalize things and only spend as as much as required right i think all of these things you have to realize it is not your problem you do your best you go in you say that you say your thing and then that's it and you just keep doing that time and time again. And you realize that this is a long-term play where you're not going to solve everybody's problems. You're not going to be able to tackle everything. You're going to get a lot of people that um, are politically astute, I guess. And you need to sort of sense those things. And then you just take what you can get and keep going and, and realize it's not your problem. It's not going to change the world if you do or do not do something. And you sort of think about what is it that I need to prioritize on? What do I need to focus on? And that's what I'm going to do today. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.